Hello friends, so welcome to another session on trigonometry and today we are going to understand complementary angles and not only we are going to define and understand complementary angles, we are also going to understand the, ratio, the relation between various T ratios of complementary angles. Now let us start this session by understanding what complementary angles are. Now two angles are said to be complementary when their sum is equal to a right angle that is if two, ang two angles are there theta and phi and if their sum is 90 degrees then we say that theta and phi are complementary to each other. Theta and phi are complementary angles. Complementary angles. Okay this is a very vital information keep this in your mind. Now example 60 and 30 sums to 90 so hence it is uh, they are complementary to each other. Similarly, 40 and 50 degrees are complementary angles. Here also, if you see 10 and 80, 70 and 20, all these pairs are of complementary angles. Now, similarly, 12 degrees, let us say, and 78 degrees. These are complementary angles. 12.5 degrees and 77.5 degrees. These are also complementary. So you can find out infinitely many pairs of complementary angles. Now if you notice in a right angle triangle the two angles apart from the 90 degree are always complementary right in a right angle triangle the other two angles apart from the right angle are always complementary why because if one is theta by angle sum property we know that it is 90 minus theta right so here if you see instead of this yeah I have right angle b here so if you see angle 90 degree plus theta which is angle c here plus angle b is 180 degree so hence angle b is 90 minus theta right by angle sum property now let us analyze the t ratios of complementary angles what does it mean so let us first first find out sine of theta so if you see sine of theta is nothing but by definition it's opposite side to the theta that is this side a b divided by what the hypotenuse that is this side that is b c so hence sine of theta is AB upon BC. Similarly, if you look closely, cos of beta, now if you see from this angle, 90 degree here, 90 minus theta, if you see from this perspective, so cos of this angle is nothing but the adjacent, which is AB, which is highlighted over here. This is AB, this one, divided by what? This line, right? This is cos of 90. So hence, if you if I have written here, so both sine of theta as well as cos of 90 minus theta are same ratio, that is AB by BC. So hence, I can write sine theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta. This is a very vital information and this is going to be used by you if you pursue trigonometry in your career. Very, very important information. Now, similarly, you can see cos of theta. If you see cos of theta is nothing but this side now, in this case, this one, this divided by the hypotenuse, right? That is AC by BC, which happens to be the sine value of 90 minus theta. Why? Because for 90 minus theta, this side is opposite, isn't it? And this one is hypotenuse. So hence, what do we see? Cos of theta is equal to sine of 90 minus theta. Very important information. Similarly, other T ratios also cosecant now another important one is tan theta again so tan theta is nothing but what is tan theta in this case opposite by adjacent so ab by bc and hence which is nothing but cot of 90 minus theta so tan theta and cot 90 minus theta are related they are equal now other is just a formality other T ratios cosec cosecant theta is one upon sine so if you go by whatever we found out sine is cos of 90 minus theta so that is secant 90 minus theta isn't it you can also do it by the definitions of the t ratios that is in terms of the ratios of the sides if you want to ca calculate you will get the same value so re please remember cosecant is secant 90 minus theta now secant theta is also equal to cosecant 90 minus theta right now this is what we uh, derived and now let us write down the summary the summary is sine of theta is cosine of 90 minus theta now don't think that this is only restricted to a right angle triangle whatever is the value of theta cos of 90 minus theta will be same to sine theta let us take an example also so for example in the previous sessions we learned sine of 30 degrees is nothing but half if you if you have seen those sessions lectures so sine 30 is half and now sine 30 degrees can be written as sine of 
90 degree minus 60 degree, isn't it? Now from the relation, sine of 90 minus theta, if you see, is cos of theta. So hence I can write this as cos of 60 degrees. Now if you see, cos 60 also is half, isn't it? Let us take another example. Let us say tan of 60 degrees. Now tan of 60 degrees can be written as tan of 90 degrees minus 30 degrees, right? Now let us see what is tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta is cot theta so that means this will become cot of 30 degrees isn't it now what is tan 60 by the table if you see it is root 3 if you have the table with you you can check tan 60 is root 3 and similarly cot 30 also is root 3 root 3 right that means our whatever information or results we derived are accurate right it is true for all values of theta so please remember these relationships right so sine and cos are complementary if you see cos and sine same thing tan and cot tan and cot and secant and cosecant right so if one is theta the other will be 90 minus theta value i hope you understood these concepts we'll take up more problem solving on these concepts in problem solving session thank you